In this video I will talk about the dot product and I will show you how to calculate it. The dot product is a calculation that uh, can be done between two vectors. So let's say I have vector A and vector E and vector B. If I want to calculate the dot product then the way that I can um, uh, I can write that is A dot B and this dot is what is telling us that I'm going to calculate the dot product a dot b now i'm gonna give you uh i'm gonna do a quick example let's say that i have vector a and vector a is has three components a x a y and a z and let's say that vector b can be written similarly this is the x component this is the y component this is the z component now if you want to find a dot b then the way to calculate that would be the following i start with the left bracket because the dot uh, uh, sorry nope the dot product is a number so you you don't start with the left bracket we start with writing ax times bx plus a y times b y plus a z times b z now one thing that you need to pay attention here there are no brackets the only thing that you have is a number times a number plus a number times a number plus a number times a number at the end this is going to give you a number the dot product is going to give you a scalar okay this is a number now um this is this is something that is very important to keep in mind even though you found you calculated the dot product between two vectors at the end you will not get a vector you're gonna get a scalar now this is um, one way to do the calculations for the dot product um, and I, I can I, I can do a quick example let's say that I have C equals 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay this is a simple example and let's say I have vector D that is 4 comma 5 comma 6 okay obviously these are not random numbers but uh, it's gonna uh, I'm gonna show you how you will be doing the calculations for dot products so you're gonna be taking the X component of the first and multiplying it okay how about I do this I'm gonna take the one multiply it with the four and then I'm gonna add to that the two times the five plus the three times the six so it's going to be one times four plus two times five plus three times six okay this is this is this is going to give you a number and this is going to be the dot product between vectors c and d now th this is one way of doing the calculations um, we know that uh, vectors have two properties the magnitude and the direction so if I have okay let's say this is vector a and let's say this is vector B okay um, the as I said vectors have two properties direction and magnitude and if what you know is the magnitude of vector a meaning the length of this arrow and you know the magnitude of vector B and you also know the angle that the two vectors make with each other then another way to calculate the dot product is by doing the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the cosine of the angle theta between the vectors a and b now here the um, of course again this is going to give you a scalar it's still the same calculation it's the dot product 
Um, but now there is something interesting going on here. The magnitude of a vector is always positive or zero. And here I have the magnitude of B always positive or zero. The cosine of theta though can go from minus one to plus one. So whether the dot product is positive or negative, in this case, with this expression, you can clearly see it depends on the angle theta between the two vectors. Okay. Now, when will you use, let's call this expression one, let's call this expression two. How will you know which one you're going to use? Well, you know, one, one way that will allow you to determine that is the following. If from the problem you have the components, meaning if from the problem you have x, y, z for a and b, then you're going to use equation 1. On the other hand, if from the problem you have the magnitudes and the directions, then you're going to be using equation 2 as that's going to be the easier way to go. So that was... Um, uh, that was uh, a way to um, uh, two ways with which you can find the dot product and I can give you let's do one example let's say for this second one I have the magnitude let's not use a let's say I have the magnitude of vector b to be 3.2 I'm not gonna use any units and the uh, not b say the magnitude of vector C is 3.2 let's say the magnitude of vector D is 4 and let's say the angle theta between them is 45 degrees there is no okay then the dot product you can find the dot product between C and D as 3.2 times 4 times the cosine of 45 degrees and of course this is going to give you a number this is the dot product between vectors C and D